Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Siro. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Gemini Love Prediction reading for June 17th through June 23rd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know, this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, compassionate, loving, sweet Geminis. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on, my Geminis? Let's see, Jimmies, what you got going on. Show me, spirit guides. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. The Chariot. The Fool card. And the Seven of Wands. First of all, your emotions are all over the place. You're juggling emotions when it comes to someone. I don't know who this is. I don't know, but there's emotions that are everywhere. This Two of Pentacles means you have not landed on one thing. It's like I, I, I you don't know what to do. You're, you're all in your head. It's just, uh, do I stay with this person? Do I go? I, you're, I just feel a, a frenzy of emotions when it comes to this person because you're not quite sure what to do with this relationship. Um, there's a Nine of Wands that's there right after, and that's persistent. You're being very persistent when it comes to someone. You want to move forward with someone or someone wants to move forward with you. But I think they you want to move forward with someone. There's a new there's something here. Your emotions are crazy because this is someone that I, I'm going to tell you. I just, just think this is someone that just won't go away. I don't actually, actually think that it's you. I think it's someone else that keeps coming after you. Because see, the nine of wands is my card of never giving up. It's keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. You're not used to this kind of energy either, Gemini. Because Gemini is a little bit, you know, in the air, a little flighty. They kind of do their own thing. But this person, this person is not giving up. Not only that, it's next to the chariot card that's in the middle of the reading. The chariot card is all about go, go, go. Let's, whatever they got on, whatever they want, which is you, they're determined to have you. But you're not quite sure you want to have them. I'm, I'm just saying you're not quite sure that you want to be with them. There is something that has happened with you and this person, I think, in the past. Don't know what it is, but I see something because the full card is here. And the full card is like a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, I think that they are keep coming after you. This energy is what's making you frenetic, what's making, making you crazy, what's making you... Because you're like, oh, I think you let this go, but they keep coming after you. They keep coming. They keep coming. They won't stop. But there is that food cart there. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think, I think you're standing your ground on this. I'm going to be very honest. Because the food cart is here, which is a new beginning. And I think you just want a new beginning. I don't think you want the new beginning with them. And not only that, I think you got to defend yourself because the seven of wands is there. That's the only way they're going to go away. They're going, you have to defend why you don't want to be with them. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. That's the only way you're going to get this person to go away. That's the only way you're going to get this person to move on. You don't want to be with this person, though. Um, I don't see that. I, I I think they're making you real frenetic and real crazy because, you know, they're being very, very aggressive. They're not giving up. But just because they're being aggressive does not mean that you're going to still go back to be with them. I don't see you going back to them. I really don't. I want to clarify the reading. Give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. Um, and like I said, the seven of wands means you're standing up for yourself as to why. You're letting them know why. I'm just saying, I'm telling you. So give me three to five minutes. Sit back, relax. Let's see what the spirit guys have to tell you. I'm going to clarify the reading. I'm going to clarify the reading. Why is this two of pentacles here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the two of pentacles here for my Gemini? Show me spirit guys. Why is the two of pentacles here for my Gemini? Nine of wands. I told you. Here this person is not giving up. 
It's making you crazy, though. This is not your energy. You you know, like I said, Gemini's are free spirits. This person is making you crazy because they want you and they want to be back with you. And I think that you guys have broken up, but I don't think you want to be back with them. And I think they keep coming. They keep coming and not giving up. You're not used to this type of energy, like I said. You don't like, you're just not used to this because, you know, you have, you've moved on. I do believe you've moved on. I do. I really do. I think you've moved on away from this relationship. So let's see why the Nine of Wands is here again. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Wands here again? Show me. Four of Cups? I, yeah, you're not hearing it. You're like, I'm done. That Four of Cups means nope, 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 nope. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear it. They keep coming and it's, 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 it's making you crazy, but mm -mm, I think you, you've already made your decision. You know, you've already made your decision. Four of cups means, you know, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your heart. You're back guarded. You're not listening to what they have to say because what they have to say really doesn't mean anything because of what they did in the past to you. I'm telling you that four of cups means you're just, you're apathetic, empathetic. You don't want to hear it. You're very apathetic to what they have to say. You're not hearing it. Almost, you know, you're about to cut total contact with them, but you don't want to hear it. You, you're done. I just think you're done. Nothing they say is going to change what how you feel, and it's not going to make you come back to them. So let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the chariot card here for my Geminis? Show me. The magician. The magician, the magician is manifestation. And you know, the chariot card is there and that's moving forward. That's moving, that's moving forward. And I don't, I think you're looking, looking forward and not looking back. I think that your heart space has healed the magician card. I think your heart space has healed. I do. I think it's healed from this energy that you had with them. And I think you're moving, you have already started a new, a new life, a new beginning. Nothing you say is going to make me, make me come back. That's what I keep hearing. Nothing you say is going to wake, make me want to be with you again. I'm done. So let's see why the fool card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the fool card here for my Geminis? Why is the fool card here for my Geminis? You have manifested yourself a new beginning. You've manifested a new beginning. And, and you're determined to get your new beginning without them. I don't see you wanting to be with them. So let's see why the fool card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the fool card here for my Geminis? Two of Cups, the Two of Cups, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think that uh, you have a new beginning with someone else. I think you've got a new beginning with someone else, someone that you, someone else. I think you've got a new beginning with someone else. This is, you don't want to be with this person because I see love with someone else. I see love. That Two of Cups is about someone that has the same mindset that you have, someone that has the same um uh, has this, wants to be with you, someone that you don't have to uh, make want to be with you. Or, you know, I just see here that two of cups. That two of cups is just saying, hey, you falling in love with someone else. And I'll say you have fallen in love with someone else. If you're not falling in love, you're about to fall in love with someone else. You're going to have to communicate clearly with this person or that you don't want to be with them anymore. The the person from the past, you, you want to communicate clearly because I strongly believe you have a new beginning with someone else. And you're not looking back. I don't want to be with you. Nothing you say will make me want to be with you. I love someone else. That's just what I see. That's what I see. Let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Seven of Wands here for my Geminis? Let's see. Six of Wands. Yeah, you're winning with this new relationship. You're winning. You have won. You're standing up for this new relationship too. You're letting them know, I don't want to be with you. I just, whoever this person was that was coming at you hard and strong, you don't want them anymore. You don't want their energy. You falling in love with someone else. You falling in love with someone else. You're going to have to communicate clearly with them. Let's start at the very beginning. There's two of pentacles. This person is driving you bat-ish crazy because they keep being persistent, coming after you, never giving up. But the problem is, is that you keep telling them, no, 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 no. Matter of fact, this, if I've ever seen no before, thank you, spirit guys. The nine of wands is here, nine of wands. This is a wounded, they call it the wounded warrior card because it's someone that keeps coming and keeps coming no matter how many times someone tells them no. But no means no, you don't want to be with them. No means no, you don't want to be with them. The four of cups is there. You don't want to hear anything they have to say. You're apathetic to them. 
They don't even, it's almost like they don't even matter anymore. You're just apathetic to them. Very apathetic. That's how you feel. You feel like, I don't care what you have to say. Nothing you do or say is going to make me want to be back with you. Now, you've manifested a new love. You've manifested that magician, magician card is here, and the chariot card is in the middle of your reading. The chariot card represents a cancer, can represent a cancer sun sign, but I'm just telling you, you have manifested a new love. You have manifested a new love because there's that two of cups. Look at the two of cups here. Unity, love, public displays of affection. The full card. The full card is a new beginning. You've manifested a new love. There's a new love here. There's a new love that's here for you. You manifested a new love. And there's that seven of wands, which means you're standing up for your new love. You're happy. You're winning with that six of wands. Yeah, it's a new love here. I'm sorry. This one's the old one's done. It's done. So give me. Let's see. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Let's just see what my oracles have to say. Show me oracles. What do my oracles have to say? Well, I told you this. You've got two, and you've got to this. And you know, Gemini's know how to communicate, but communicate clearly with this person that you do not want to be with them anymore. <laughs> that you don't want to be with them anymore. Communicate clearly. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I really simply just don't want to be with you anymore. I have found a, loo, a new love. You, you found a new love. I mean, just I'm just saying that's what has happened. You know, people tend to think that you're supposed to stick around for them. No. No, you kept moving. And you know, the universe, you asked for a new love and the universe brought it. I'm going to pull meditation brings answers. You know, that's one of my favorite cards. Prayer works, meditate, whatever you do. And whatever you did, guess what? Guess what? It happened. It happened. A new love showed up. A new love showed up. A new love showed up. I'm going to pull this card because it says trust. 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 This is a good love. This is a new love for you. Trust. It is the right love. I'm telling you, a new love has shown up for you. A new love has shown up for you. Let me pull. Let's see. The last card that I'm going to pull is, oh, it's coming out. Well, I'm going to pull both of these. They're back to back. Success. Yes. That's what I have for you, Gemini's, for your love prediction reading.